Hello, welcome to today's Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. I'm over here at the track at the local university, and of course, they do intercollegiate, intercollegiate track and field here. It got me thinking about what Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, where he talked about running the race and keeping the faith. And in life, there's going to be times where you're just going to have to persevere and push through and keep running the race when others may let you down. You know, people know the name Billy Graham. He started in 1945. There were two other guys, Clifford and Templeton, that also started at the same time. And they were packing out great auditoriums. But by 1950, Templeton had left the ministry, abandoned the faith, and was a radio host, an avowed atheist, and spent the rest of his life trying to disprove the cause of Christ. The other guy ended up being an uh, alcoholic, and he lost his uh, ministry, and he left uh, his faith, and ended up dying at the age, a uh, very young age. You know, there's different kinds of people you're going to encounter along the way in your journey. As a pastor, I've seen all these. Paul talks about some of them. One was a guy named Demas. Demas had been a good friend, a close comp uh, compadre of uh, the Apostle Paul's, and he left him and went back to the world. And there's always going to be those that are going to run this race with you for a while, but they're going to leave you when the going gets tough. Then there's, thank God, there's the Lukes. Every church needs a few Lukes. We have them at the church I pastor. These are the ones that are faithful, that show up, and always help you get things done. Then, I, I hate to tell you this, but you probably already knew this, there was some guy called Alexander the Coppersmith. And this is a guy who caused Paul a lot of grief. There's always going to be people in your life that's going to try to cause you grief, either knowingly or unknowingly. But what you have to do is push through and ignore those people, practice forgiveness with them, and remember there's always going to be an Alexander the Coppersmith. And finally, there's going to be a John Luke. John Luke abandoned Paul at one time, but later he came back. They were able to patch things up. And God was able to use the two of them together to make a difference. In your life, you've got to make room for the ones that let you down and make room for them to come back into your life when things get straightened out. Well, look, I'm all out of time. It's Friday. Get out to church Sunday. Don't forget that. It's real important. And like the guys behind me, keep running the race. till we get together on Monday, may God bless you. And hey, have a great day.